Hey guys, welcome back to part 3. I've noticed that my intro is very long, so I'm just going to quickly cut into this one because we're still freaking modeling. So, as you can see, that gets annoying. Part 1's almost rendered, blah 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 blah. Okay, let's go. I'm going to quickly save my work. So, uh, when we left off, uh, I was just quickly doing this, which is being a bitch. So, if I just do that a bit more, because I want to get it wider so we can have more of a uh, thing going here. More of a thing going, you know what I'm saying? So, if I just quickly do this, why is my PC lagging? I have, like, the best gaming PC ever, and it's lagging. I don't pay you to lag, you son of a bitch. So, if I go front, sorry, front, and just make this bigger as such. Maybe that looks a lot better now, which it does. So, now that we've done this, we've pretty much done the bottom half of the gun. So... That part doesn't really need much more doing. So as you can see, it's 499 polys. That's a nice amount of polys. If you want to make this a lot better, what you're going to do is you're going to go here and you're going to click this blue spanner. You're going to go to add modifier and you're going to click bevel. As you can see, this raises the polys an absolute ton. But it does make it look a ton more polished. Now, I'm not going to apply these just yet. I'm going to do that for the higher poly model uh, to bake it onto the thing because ready if I was to just apply modifiers for both of these the guns 2k and I said it would be about 2k to 3k which isn't really good so we're gonna do that later uh, hopefully I need to actually work out how to do that yet but here's one great tip for lowering polys when doing something such as the gun barrel if I was to press shift a and then go down to the cylinder uh, as you can see, it's 32 vertices, vertices. We don't want that. That's too high. We want about 10, maybe 11. So as you can see here, before you move it, because if you move it, it disappears. So if I press, if I delete it, sorry, press Shift A, Mesh Cylinder. It says here the vertices, and we're gonna put that to say 11. So it's a lot lower poly now, and we can just make that look higher poly when we make the high poly mesh. So if I just size that down here and just place that there and shift and D for Daniel and then just rotate 90 degrees and I did that by pressing R for for Romans or something and then we uh, say 90. So if I was to do that again, R, 90, enter, R, 90, enter and you can just keep doing that. Uh, until you get the shape that you want. So we're going to size this down. You don't want to do the size and Y thing for this because then the, the barrel itself will actually become deformed and gay. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to do this a certain way because I don't really want to model it any other way. So if I just select those and press E and then just left click on the spot because we don't, we don't want it to go out. So then we just size that up and then we press E and go out and then do the same again but as you can see here it does do that so we're just gonna move this and then scale it up like so so then we do that again but this time we get to about there and we rotate on the X axis I believe and this will then be slightly things so if I was to say front 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 and then go up like that just so then it's equal so it doesn't have that horrid deformity and we have something that looks like that now for making the barrel this is quite easy so we just press extrude click size it down uh, and then press extrude click and then left click on the green arrow to bring that back in so there you have it you got a nice looking barrel I'm gonna make that smaller because uh, normally bullets are quite small so uh, we need to pop and then go in like that and that's a really great way to do the barrel it's really effective and it's really low poly as well so after having to do that we're gonna be moving on to say we're gonna do this bit here because uh, that's how I want to do things because this part is gonna be quite confusing by the looks of it and it's going to require me to have to look at it for uh, large amounts of time so that'll probably be another two parts <laughs> I'm joking seriously um, okay so we're just gonna do that and we're gonna do the the same old stuff as last time where we just scale it down right is that the right size that I want yeah that's about right we'll say that's right uh, we want to do that again and scale it down even more scale it down again once more because remember this is a low poly gun so we want to make this as awesomely low poly as possible 
So now that we have that, that's looking pretty good. It's not looking terrible, that's what I can tell you now, bitch. Sorry for my language, forgive me. Uh, I'm getting more, less professional with these tutorials because, to be honest, I can't, uh, I, I want to have a laugh. I want to do things and have a laugh. Like, if you look at my other tutorials, I got one of one of my scripters making a cat noise, which was pretty fun. So, yeah. Right, you want to make this higher than the actual thing goes, purely because we're going to be doing something next. Uh, should be next. It is next, so we'll, we'll be doing that now. So as you can see, it still looks pretty incomplete, but it's definitely getting there. That's the, the main purpose. So I'm just going to quickly look at this and think, how am I going to model this to Boscus? Um, so as you can see here, uh, right, it does that. That is just one piece itself. And then this here will be another piece. Uh, this will probably be one piece and that will be the other piece. And then the clip will be modeled individually. Right, okay, so now that we have that in mind of how we're going to get about doing that, um, we can really... That is a flat surface, is it? That's quite confusing right there. Right, okay, that shouldn't be a massive problem, but we're going to get right to it. So, is that curved there? I'm being a bit more cautious with this because I don't want to fail as much. So if I just scale that down... Right, okay, so that goes there and then I move that down and then if we do that and then do this because this is significantly thicker than the the bottom half of the gun so we have to do this before we actually get to modeling this because I don't really want to ass around after this because I remember I'm trying to really speed this up we're probably yeah we're six minutes in and we've done okay we've done that yeah uh, sorry I'm really I'm really I want to say the right word pessimistic about my time so what we're going to quickly do here, because I want to do this more than anything, because this is a cool tip that I want to give you. Uh, as you can see here, it's got like a sort of in kind of look. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extrude that down. But then what we are, right, this is actually thicker than this. So if I was to move this in a little bit and then move that out a little bit, need to move that out a bit more, I think. Right, okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to say S and then X and we're going to just move that in like that. So there you have that. Uh, that's going in a bit more, I think. So view right. Right, we want to move that down. So if I just move that down a whole bunch and then do that, that should look a whole lot better, which it does. It does look a whole lot better. So, that's that part taken care of now. So, what we do now is we begin with the rest of the gun. So, uh, someone sent me a message on Skype. I'm not looking at it because God knows what they said, knowing the people that I have on my Skype. But, here we go. Uh, right. So, we want to cut that off there. Uh, whereas then, it goes up like so. So, by here, we want to be loop cutting that. Or by here... Does that cut it off there? Does it do this? Does it do that? Who knows? Let's have a look. So, let's loop cut here. We'll, we'll just say here for argument's sake. So, if we just left click and drag over this and we was to go pop, put that out, pop and then put that in. That's roughly guessing and I guessed correctly so that's pretty good. So, I've done that part now. We are at 699 faces. That is actually really good for anyone that's kind of wondering, like, is this is this a good tutorial? Yes, it is a good tutorial. It's rhetorical. Right, so now we're just going to extrude up here, and we're going to really do this as fast as we can. Well, you obviously won't do it as fast as you can, but I want to because, to be honest, I don't have patience. I don't, I don't really have patience in my system to really be asked with anything so I'm just gonna loop cut and slide here again because let's face it we have polys that we can add because uh, the poly count on our gun so far is really good so we're gonna move this this way like that um, so if I just keep on doing this uh, that's probably not gonna be detailed enough no it's not uh, okay there we go What's the difference? There we go. 
that's better right okay so if I just go one as you can see here I'm not really gonna model this detail because uh, we're not gonna need it yet because the high resolution texture that we're gonna make will cover that so if I just do that so it looks a whole lot better uh, we've we've got a good P90 coming along here guys uh, my video is rendered as well so uh, I'll get uploading that straight after this whatever part it is I think it's the fourth part the third part in fact I will check right now because I'm that stupid part one part two this is in fact part three uh, while um, we're going good we are going good so now this goes outwards so I don't want to do anything else so that part goes outwards also so um, Ooh, this is quite tricky. Right, okay, so I'm gonna, we'll get around it. We will get around it. So, so if I just go up like so, and then just do pretty much what I did for the last one, and then go right, which, yeah, that was just about right. So, what we want to do now is I really want to bring these back up here these parts of the parties. This is the really tricky part. This is what requires you to think is when they just give you whack flipping. Wow, I'm using some words that I've never used before today. They just give you some positions that are just really boring and hard to work with. So uh, if I was to try and just make this a little bit better. Uh, as you can see that now looks a whole lot better but what we're gonna do here is because I'm not happy with that because this obviously comes out a lot further than that does so I'm gonna bring it out say that far I'm gonna view top view top because as you can see we we can uh, there and then there's one more there I believe you gotta know your own model to make it right I'm gonna bring that out a bit more I think because again I'm a fussy Pete so so yeah as you can see now we've got that part of the gun done uh, I think we'll begin the front part now uh, we have 12 minutes I think I'm gonna cut it off here because that's a nice rounded part to bring it off right before we do this I'm gonna save so I'll see you guys in part 4 uh, if this is a fail and we're actually on part 4 then I'm gonna be deeply sorry so uh, see you guys next time thank you